All right, y'all, welcome back. Uh, pardon the noise, but my neighbor is mowing his lawn. It's just what happens out here. So I'm out here in the van. Uh, and before we get too far into this video, I'll show you guys some video that I filmed a couple of days ago with Greg. We replaced the front shocks on, or the front and rear shocks on the van. Uh, found the busted one and found the clunk. So go ahead and check that out right now. And I've got Greg over here from a Midwest family. And today I went and picked up a new set of shocks for all around. Uh, I'm pretty sure these are what's on it. So we're gonna toss these on, obviously the rears I think are the longer ones. Uh, here, you wanna hold this, I'll, I'll bounce the van a little bit. Maybe you guys can tell, it's worse when it's running, but somebody even mentioned it on the oil change video when we drove it off the ramps, it bounced a couple of times, but it definitely, it should just basically stop right away. Come back to its level or whatever and stop. So. Uh, I know the front ones need done. Whether the rear ones need it or not, they're going to get done. And we're going to attempt to do this without jacking it up. I don't know if we'll be able to compress the shocks that are in the boxes enough to do that. But we'll give it a shot before we worry about jacking it up because you can get to everything really easily. And there we go. Nothing fancy about these guys. Let's... Oh yeah, we're going to be able to do that real easily. All right, let's get to the back there. Greg brought his big impact over, and uh, we'll see what we can do. <laughs> see what I can do under here. I don't know where you can see it. You're probably not going to be able to see it very well, but... But we'll see if I can get it without like oh, breaking my arm under here. Oh, right away, right away. Like butter. Oh, it might be a little difficult to get this out though. I guess I got a rubber mallet in there. Make sure these go back on the right ways. This one. All right, y'all, you can see the shiny new one right there, and then it's a Chevy, so the other one. So the one over here goes forward of the rear axle, but bada bing, bada boom, 20 minutes at best, probably more like 10. And I'm out here just sweating like a pig. I ain't even opened up my cerveza. All right. Let me take a sip of this and we'll get the front knocked out quick. The front's what I'm concerned with. So we'll see what happened. These rear ones did have a different part number, so I don't know if the part number changed. I'm gonna look and see what that is or if these are rated for a different weight. I guess we'll find out, right? Um, so I just got under there and started jiggling stuff around. And if you've been watching, I need to kind of spin this, but if you guys have been watching and following along, I'll show you what the clunk is. We found it. It's kind of funny, honestly. <sighs> Gotta be careful. Vintage paint. Yeah, I don't want to start putting chips and everything. No, that's not for me. It's... Now you got a line next. I'm not line exiting this thing, dude. I feel like that looks terrible on outside of vehicles. Maybe for a rocker. Oh no, I need a shorty. Maybe on the rocker it wouldn't be terrible, but I don't need it. It's kind of kind of common to do the roofs on these from what I'm gathering. But I don't know. It's gonna hopefully be garage stored, so. So nice not having everything rusty. Make everything easier, tell you what. About 
The same size. No. No longer? This one's slowly coming out. This yeah, because it's blowing, yeah. Uh, let's go this way. Let's see um, it now. What? Yeah, I think it's the same stuff. Okay. Um, we get some camera action under here somehow. What are they doing at the top? It's right there. <laughs> kind of, sort of, not really. <laughs> What's up, guys? <laughs> <laughs> We're professionals. Well, you know, it's a lot harder than you think trying to get a camera somewhere. Well, and when you're not using a GoPro, oh, this thing is just, just enough room to get under here and like jam yourself into tight spaces. Bottom first, maybe. This is not going to want to fit now. Uh, oh, I should have that on the other side, though. <laughs> oh no, am I going to be able to do this from this angle? Oh, probably not. I was pushing up on the rest of them. Oh! <laughs> no. Not a chance. All right. I ain't got that kind of muscle. I might need a, a spreader to get this open or something. It's not, that's not wanting to go in there. Oh. No. 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 Dang old bang, I tell you what. Where's your hammer at? Um. It's either on the table or on the. Swing on it. Right, swinging on it. It's got to go up further. That's super tight. There we go. I just need a hair, hair dangle on here. shoulder pop. No. Oh 
holes there. Uh, you got a punch? Nothing that's that big. Sounds like a personal problem. <laughs> So close. Uh. Come on. Got it. At least on one side. Ha. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna smack it with your hand. <laughs> Smart man would put it on a jack. Why? But that requires picking up that 200 pound thing out of the back of your trunk. Yeah. Thanks for bringing it. <laughs> it looks good back there. Okay. Whew. <laughs> you, you don't know how to move your arms. <laughs> There's no room under here. All right, it's gonna go with my eyeballs. Let's put the specs. Yeah. <laughs> You're like he's dying, man. Like Ace Ventura <laughs> comes out of the hippo's butt. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Here, guys. Let me show you. Let me show you down here under the front. So the sway bar on this thing is in front of the axle or the drivetrain right here. And I was getting down here and wiggling stuff around. And these bump stops that you guys can see there, those are loose, but not a big deal. And then I looked at this. And so the end links of the sway bar on both sides, you can see daylight right through them. And it's just flopping around. Same thing on this side. If you hit it, there's your clank. That's what I'm hearing. So we need to get these replaced. I don't think those were ever the right size. These are good. And these are still rubbery, but they're done for. So we'll have to replace those. But I know, at least I know what the clunk is now because I thought it was like something that maybe actually mattered. That doesn't really matter. All right, one more shock. All right, oh, we got all four new ones on. Um, I just did the bounce test, and it's definitely better here. I still feel like it could be better, but it stops right away, and it's harder to push it too. I think, and we looked at them, I think only one of the front ones was blown, but then didn't, or was it the front one that had? Oh, there's a big dent in this one right here, so that's one of the rear ones. It's probably kind of hard to see on camera. And then I thought one of these had a dent too, but one of these is blown like it takes forever to come back out. Yeah, you can push it down and that should immediately spring back out. So that one's <laughs> blown. Uh, and now that you guys have seen that, we're back out here and we're working on it again. It is once again a couple of days later. So I've cleaned the van out. And uh, what we're going to do today is pull the seat belts out and we're going to build ourselves a very, very simple bed. This is like a proof of concept type thing. Uh, let me close these back doors, maybe not get so much noise in here if I can. I'll open those back up for airflow but this will also help visualize what we're doing here. So we're gonna get all these seat belts out and then I'm gonna build a bed that goes from side to side, which is roughly 70 inches, and it'll come out to basically the front of the wheel well and the front of the door. And that I believe is about 48 inches. Let me get my tape measure out here. Yeah, so from the door there, we're looking at roughly 48 and then side to side we'll just measure right on top of the wheel well 
uh, we'll measure right under the window, is exactly 70 inches. Um, uh, and then with the board that I put on top, um, from the top of the wheel well to the bottom of the window, we've got about seven and a half inches. So with the board that'll run across the top as my bed frame, I'll be able to run like a six inch, five to six inch mattress, uh, and it'll be even with the bottom of the window sill. So that's the goal uh, for the ending of this video. And like I said, the bed is going to be very simple. This is a proof of concept, because I don't know if I'm gonna be comfortable laying that way because I am six foot tall, so that's 72 inches. So I'm gonna probably have to, if I wanna stretch out, I'll have to lay at an angle, but I typically sleep on my side uh, like kind of curled into a ball fetal position uh, and that's comfortable to me so I should be able to sleep back here like that and then I'll have a big living space right in front of me but onto the seat belts so I came back here there's a piece of wood trim that goes right here and holds this up and then this slides into this track right here uh, so I was able to pop that down and now I can get to the top of the seatbelt bolts right there as you guys can see Inside of here there is uh, right there. There's some ducting for the rear vents, but other than that this is all open and uh, We've got these panels here, but you can see there's screws right here so I can remove those and maybe we'll add some lighting in here but uh, I like that this has all this stuff up here because I can use it to run wiring uh, and I could screw into this or bolt through this and not have to go through the ceiling But as you can see the ceiling panel here, maybe I can shove the camera in there for you quick There is insulation on the roof a little bit of it. It's just foam, but You can kind of see a little bit of the roof up there So anyways, let's get these couple seat belts out on this side then we'll work on this side and then I'm gonna have to run and grab some wood and a mattress and stuff for the bed. And I need to get these back doors open back up because it is hot in here. Uh, and I'll just throw this on a time lapse quick so you don't have to listen to the mower anymore. guys all the seat belt bases are out top things are out everything is put back together I still need to plug the holes that we've got right here uh, but for now I need to go get a few pieces of wood so we can knock this bed out quick all right y'all so I I did run to the store and I went and picked up a mattress that will fit in the back but then I used my brain and realized I have this wood that's chilling under the truck those are a bunch of two by threes so we're gonna just use those for a quick box and then I have a sheet of 5 8 plywood right there, so we'll use that. And then out here in the van, I took some measurements and kind of figured out what I was doing. So if you can see, right that line right there, it's probably hard to tell on camera. There you go. There's a hump in the floor. Uh, and those two, there's a couple holes where seat belts were bolted down to. Now, if I were to rip all this carpet out, I believe I can remove that. For the time being, that's not something I want to do. So, uh, the box that I'm going to build, I'll build a little box that'll just be right here that'll go in front of that. And then we'll have a piece of plywood up here and I'll just stick a couple legs down. So, I'm going to try to build this as simple as possible because if I do end up, uh, because if I do end up laying this way and like liking it and doing a permanent build, I'll probably, I'll definitely rebuild it. And we may build it out of like aluminum tubing or something to be really lightweight, but we'll see how that goes. Uh, for now, we just need to get something back there that'll fit. And as far as the plywood, uh, it's 48 inches wide. So basically from here back is 48 inches. Uh, pretty close 
So there's a level that's 48 inches. And so the bed will just sit right up here, like show. And then I've got a six inch mattress that'll come up to like right below the windowsill. So this should work out perfectly. Um, I'll have to cut around the gas tube right there that you can see sticking out of the wall. It is gonna cover my speakers under the box, but that's all right for now. Those could be moved up at some point, put some six by nines maybe up a little bit higher, who knows. Uh, and then the mattress should kind of cover those hinges up also. I'm gonna try to run it all the way to the back. Uh, I, in my head, there was a lot more angle on these walls that came back to the doors, but they're pretty straight. So I'm just gonna cut the, the plywood square. Uh, and yeah, I'm gonna try to do 90% of this in the garage right now because it is incredibly hot out here. I'm sweating. Um, we're in a heat advisory, all that nonsense, but I'm just gonna knock this out quick. All right, well, before I go start trying to frame something out, I kind of thought it might be a good idea to just cut this piece out and stick it in there and see, see how many supports that I really need, because this is thick enough that a few well-placed supports, I shouldn't need to try to build some whole box frame underneath of it right now. And if I could just use those two by fours that I had and maybe one board, that would be a whole lot nicer than cutting up a bunch of wood that I don't need to cut up, you know? Definitely doesn't want to slide on the carpet. <sighs> Gotta open the back door. Maybe tried to go in the back. It's because there's this bump out right that you guys are on that I can't slide it over all the way. I've got to pick it up over that. I'll move you guys somewhere else. Really, that fits pretty good. I cut it a little bit short just for tightness and it's just pushing against that. I think I'm just gonna leave that. No reason to trim that out. You can see it just makes the hair crooked. Man, there we go. Yeah. Sitting right about where I wanted it to. Go back a hair, I guess. There we go for that. Plenty of room underneath for storage. Um, 
But yeah, it's gonna need some legs. Oh man, I feel like I can just, I, for what I need right now, that I can just cut some lengths of those two by fours that I had left, stick them under here and just drill into them instead of trying to build a box. Some good, a few supports in the middle. I'll just do like three supports on each. I don't know. Yeah, that's what we're gonna do. All right, I've cut out a bunch of two by fours. So we'll just shove right up under here, like so. And I'm gonna just drill them in. This is what I've got is some two inch deck screws. Uh, we're gonna use what we have in the garage. Those will be all right. Good enough for me. So this thing isn't like it's gonna see a lot of movement side to side. So we're just supporting more than anything. I'm gonna probably put, you know, the middle I'll try to do three, three, and three. Although I only have seven here, I don't, that's all I had for two by four. I might have to hunt one down in the garage so I don't cut up any of those uh, two by threes. Anyways, all right, let's screw this base down. Should have grabbed a piece of, should have grabbed something to draw on this with. before I leak all my sweat onto this thing. just put one support in the middle uh, and not on the ends because the ends are supported by the wheel wells it's basically sitting right on top of it and then I've got three in the back also and it's it's solid like I'm moving the whole van up and down it ain't doing nothing that should easily support me so whew, I need to dry off a little bit and we'll get our mattress and stuff in here all right guys here's my mattress it's folded in half uh that is what it is it's six inch gel memory foam and this says it's 74 by 52 and a half by six inches and the bed is exactly 70 inches wide or there's 70 inches of space and then it's 40 by 48 i'm gonna try to just shove this on there and see if i can stuff the ends in it'll hang over a little bit on the front maybe but if I can do this without cutting it right now, that would be great. Because uh, if I don't like this, I can either probably return it. Or uh, I know a few people that would probably enjoy having a new mattress in this size, I guess. So, Or use it for a different project. Cut it in half and use it for the truck. I don't know. Either way, let's see if we can shove this in there without doing that. And, oh, I'm ready to be done. It's hot. I think I've lost like five pounds in sweat already. I'm gonna leave the plastic wrap on so I don't get it completely disgusting immediately, you know? Come on, you can fit in there, you can do it. That's not gonna work. It's not gonna work flat. That's kind of a bummer. I was hoping it would just kind of do its thing in there. And it does hang out quite a bit this way. Crap, I'm gonna have to cut this thing. All right, we trimmed it down. We 
have a big ass bed right there. Uh, it's plenty of room. And I'm sure you would love to see me lay down on that right now and see how comfortable it is. Uh, but I did a test fit before I put the mattress down and I fit all right in there. And given how sweaty and stuff I am, I'm not even happy that I'm touching that right now. So I need to take a shower, but there we go. Full width bed. It does stick out just past the door here. If they close this one, there you go. Oh, and I'm gonna put a, I've got those, uh, these things came with like a top panel and I think I'm just gonna tack that up right there. In fact, why don't we try to do that real quick? Is yeah, I've got these ruffle things that are from the top of the other curtains that should fit. Oh, those will work perfect. There we go, that looks a lot better. And you can just get up underneath of it, grab whatever you need. I'll put some topes of gear under there. And then if you open up the back doors. You've got full access under here. And it's nice, these hinges, they push against this. It's not gonna hurt it. I'm not too worried about it, but at least it hides it. And yeah, you've got plenty of room down here. There's actually a lot of room down here, more than I expected. Uh, I believe I did these at 11 inches, so yeah, there's a lot underneath of there. And I've got these little cubby spaces in the corners. Yep. And the door fits just fine. Bam, and there's mattress basically comes all the way up to it all right so the birds are freaking out the sun's starting to go down i probably should uh go drink a glass of water or something but here we are we've got the bed finished up it'll work uh for the time being and we'll see if we can stand laying like this I'll probably have to lay out a little bit of a diagonal if I want to be perfectly straight, but that's fine. Uh, I can set my cooler there. Uh, eventually we'll put a little cabinet there maybe, and we'll see what happens with that. But for now, uh, I'm just gonna close this one out. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Stay tuned for the next adventure. I'll see you in a bit.